What's going on, guys? EC here at you with a review for the KWA LM4 PTR. Um, basic rundown. As of right now, being January 6, 2013, this gun's been out for roughly seven months. Um, I say seven months because the gun has been out longer than that, but it had a couple issues that needed to be dressed right off. But this this would be from the, I believe it was in June, when they actually had a newer release, which they I, I can't remember exactly what they had to fix in it, but there was an issue. Um, this, by far, is um, my favorite gas blowback rifle I have bought yet um, and that's what I, what I have to compare to so far is the GMP walk kit uh, King Arms gas blowback M4 not one with the G, GHK kit in it, I'm talking the actual open bolt system um, I have a WE HK416 I had which had the closed bolt which I converted to open bolt I also had a WE G39C, which is the pretty much a G36. Um, I've had miscellaneous subguns and whatever, but this by far has been my absolute favorite. Um, this gun is a hardcore performer, and it is even more now. Um, only disadvantage for this being a relatively new gun, there is not very many internal upgrades for it yet. RA Tech has been uh, very good, very gracious enough to already have some parts availability. Um, you'll see in another video I have um, that I installed the KSC end pass into this. Um, not all KSC parts are compatible. Um, the hop-ups are different and I know for a fact that the bolt carrier itself is longer in a KSC so you cannot use the KSC bolt carriers in these. I, I don't know yet about the trigger mac or the hammer mac, but that's more stuff we can maybe look into into the future. Um, this kit that I originally got, this gun that I originally got was the just the base PTR. It was not the mag pull. Um, uh, it came with your basic carrying handle sight, front triangle sight, um, normal LE style stock, and uh, the carbine length barrel. Now, the other beautiful thing about these guns is they are convertible. Um, right here where I have my suppressor starts, um, there's actually a barrel section that you can remove. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, you're going to want to put heat to it, uh, boil it in water, something to loosen up. There is a lot of glue on that piece, and it is a bear to get off. Um, I boogered up my barrel extension quite bad taking it off, but I was already planning on putting this on here anyways. Um, the, uh, the build quality of the grips themselves were very nice. Um, what I expect from KWA, KWA makes a lot of great guns um, internally and externally, I, in my opinion. Um, a lot of people complain about uh, how KWA, if you start messing with it, it goes to hell. Um, that's not the, the way with this gun. Um, I, I am very impressed with this. I've done a lot of, I've done as much work almost as possible to it. Um, I want to figure out something with the hop up, but we will get to that later on in the video. Um, as you'll see, it is, you know, as should be, a nice open bolt system, and it's very, very satisfying when you you cannot compare to that. Um, you hear that, and then you hear the GMP. GMP is kind of boring. The KWA has a very, very nice sound when it's pulling back the hammer inside. It, it's very, it's very satisfying. You really feel like you're, you know, talking a real, a real firearm. It's very nice. Um, the body on this gun is very solid. Um, it, it doesn't have any, any imperfections anywhere on it. It. It's very impressive. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm, I'm very excited about this gun. I I usually get a gun, and after a while, I just want to get rid of it. And I have never felt this way about this gun. Um, 
I guess it's just other things we're going to get into later on in the video. Okay, now what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to, like I tend to, I'm going to separate the upper from the gun because anything I need to show you up here internally, I already have out here on the table. Um, internally, this is already upgraded. Um, I already have a uh, RE Tech barrel in it. So that is not a stock barrel, so we don't need to worry about that. And I have another hop up for it out here because the RE Tech came with one, even though it was just <sighs> it was just another KWA hop up, which was very disappointing. I'm not gonna lie. I was hoping that RE Tech would have already answered our prayers with the hop up, but not yet. Alright, so we're going to set this here. Gonna set this aside. Now, we're going to do some adjusting here, and some flipping, so just bear with me for a second. Alright, we're there, and now we're going to flip, flip. Alright, now... First thing, we're going to go over what we, we took apart here. This is the stock barrel. You know, it looks like a typical AEG barrel. It isn't. Um, it has a very similar hop up to what you've been seeing in their NS2 style guns. Um, the twist of this makes the magic happen, which it isn't much magic. Um, this is right here the biggest complaint I have about this gun. Um, you can see right there, this is what actually, this little copper bar is what pushes down on the the bucking to put your backspin on it. I'm gonna, we're gonna pop that out right now. I'm gonna show you. Um, these buckings are terrible. It's that, it's the same style as their second gen hop up with the two contact points. They're terrible. Um, I don't know if you can see that in there. Let's see if we can focus in for, so you can see that. You see the two contact points there. I'm going to tell you right now, it's terrible. Um, I've got the garter bucking en route for this, which um, I've been told from good sources that it is worth it. Um, I've also been told that the RE Tech bucking is not worth it, so we're going to... We'll find out here on Thursday. So in about another four days, we'll we'll know. We'll have it installed, and we'll have it sh we'll have it shooting. We're gonna see how that goes. Um, but like I said, the biggest complaint I have about this whole gun is this. It's the 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 hop up is terrible. It is probably the worst hop up ever. I, people are gonna debate that with me. I don't care. This is more of my opinion. And, I'm gonna like I'm telling you, it, it sucks. It's terrible. I, I I cannot wait until somebody figures out a better design for it because I know there's plenty of us LM4 owners out there that want it gone because it's just terrible. Now on the on the up note, it is quite simple to get back together, which is a nice thing. I mean. There's just a, lo a locking collar missing back here. Uh, the stock barrel, though, is pretty decent, but I'm going to tell you right now, it's hard to get a read on it because the bucking sucks, so I couldn't tell you how good it was. Um, the bolt itself, I will pull that out, actually. The bolt and carrier, metal. Nice, heavy metal. Um, this is an aftermarket nozzle, so we... That's, you can see that on one of my other videos. Um, this is good build. A uh, little bit of wearing here and there. I've got a lot of rounds through this so far, and you can tell this is still a very clean carrier. Um, this is actually the nozzle that was in it. Um, I'd say there's quite a few thousand rounds put on this nozzle. Oh, minimal wear. You can see that the end where the reinforced metal on the uh, loading tip is shiny, but very minimum very minimum wear extremely good build quality um the nozzle is plastic but it, it's it seems like a very good plastic it's not that no, the junk thin like mega box kind of plastic um 
So that's your nozzle. Like I said, the carrier, solid, rock solid. Okay, um, the one thing a lot of people are kind of up in the air about that I've talked to is the fact that it has plastic buffer. I'm going to tell you right now, this plastic buffer is, is good. Um, this gun has a really nice kick to it. Um, there's a lot of mods out there to use uh, real steel buffers. Um, I, have, I have yet to do it because of another Achilles heel that these guns have, and that being their buffer lock. Uh, mine's not damaged and it hasn't hasn't gone yet, um, but that's because they still have the plastic buffer. And if I were probably put a metal buffer in there, it'd probably be a different story. So right now I'm kind of holding off on that until I get a new buffer lock, and then we'll put a metal one in there and we'll see how long it lasts. Um, now the one thing I really do like about this is there is a nice roller here on the hammer, um, so. That tells me that this gun was designed that this is not necessarily going to be a wear part. Um, when I showed you the GMP, there is no roller bearing there. It's just straight contact over top, and it's already wearing. I mean, shit happens, right? Um, internally, it's built like most other gas blowbacks. Um, the sears, the springs. Um, the one thing that a lot of people don't like that has the lacking of realism is the inability to unlock the bolt catch by pulling back on the charging handle it'll just stay locked you'll actually have to manually hit it down um, there are mods out there to stop that I, I've come up my own way which I plan on doing to the, doing to this in the near future which I'll do a video on that it's it's a lot easier um, but other than that internally this gun is sound it will only go into safety when the hammer is locked back like real steel which is nice um, the a couple notes before we uh, end um, this gun uses more uh, real steel externals uh, magpul I guess you could say like your dress up wise uh, it's got the mil spec barrel as you can see this is actually this is a knockoff this is not actually a magpul but there, there's a lot of wiggle room there that's because this is designed for an AEG. This is not designed for gas blowback. This wants to take your mil spec. Um, same thing with your grip. You want uh, the real steel. You don't want to use your PTS. Um, it won't work. It's quite simply this gun is designed to use the real steel counter pouch where it can. Uh, same thing here with the trigger guard. This is real steel. You want to use real steel here. Um, now, when it comes to rails. This is the uh, Mad Bull Gemtech set right here. Um, the delta rings on these are AEG. They are not real steel. So you cannot use the real steel rails on an LM4 unless you plan on um, re-threading your receiver, which I, I don't really see anybody really wanting to do in the near future. So, um, But if you wanted to, you could. But I'm going to tell you right now, it's threaded for AEG. It's threaded for airsoft, not threaded for real steel. Um, like most other airsoft guns and a lot of other stuff, it is uh, 14 millimeter negative. It's not positive like the GMP. Um, I rate this gun, I would say, a 9 out of 10. Um, the reason it's losing that one point is the hop-up. The hop-up is atrocious. Now, a lot of people would think that it should lose more than one point for uh, a big issue like that with an airsoft gun, but there's just so much about this gun that that trumps that. Um, I do believe there will be a company out there anyway. I, I, I guarantee RA Tech's probably on on it right now to improve the hop up in this gun, make it a different design because it's just, it fails. Um, there's another fella on YouTube, uh, I believe he's got a, uh, a mod that just uses a grub screw for the hop up. I'm gonna hold off on that. Um, it's just, I'm going to hold off and see if we get another hop up in the next couple months. If we don't, I'm going to do it because, hey, RA Tech did send me another hop up to bugger up, do whatever I wanted to do. So, like I said, the if you're looking for a good reliability gun, this this is what you're looking for. And the other big thing is gas, gas efficiency, ladies and gentlemen. This is the most 
gas efficient gas blowback rifle I've ever shot. Um, typically, a gas blowback rifle magazine takes five, six seconds to fill. You're going to be on one of these for about 12 to 13 seconds. Now, unlike WEs, which have terrible gas efficiency, um, the GMPs aren't the greatest, King Arms aren't the greatest. These you can get if you're gingerly with it. I'm saying not. I'm not. I'm not saying do mag dumps, but if you burst fire and semi-auto fire on a nice warm day, you will get three mag loads of BBs per one gas charge. Um, you cannot beat that. Um, I myself always top off my mag while I'm reloading. But if you're in a back, if you're in the middle of uh, fire and you just gotta get BBs down range. It's nice to know that you don't have to spend that extra step recharging the mag. You can just dump BBs in it, put it back in. You know, you can be covering fires. You're still loading other mags. It's not going to leave you stranded. The other beautiful thing is, I live in Maine. Um, at 30 degree weather, I can charge this mag, and I can go. I I can even be outside for a little before I use it. And this mag will get cold, and I can dump my whole mag in full auto. Just as powerful as the beginning, and I'll still have plenty of room. Um, the only time I don't, obviously, if the end pass is turned up, it will um, use a lot more propellant. But I tell you what, on a stock configuration, like I said, this gun will fire um, its whole mag, even in freezing weather. Um, that's amazing. That is great for people like me that live in Maine or live in colder climates, um, that love the realism of gas blowbacks but are too afraid of the very short season that you can use them. Um, this this gun really opens up your options. Um, one final thing before we go is on the mag here. This plastic piece. This is plastic right up here. This top piece. Um, these are 100% replaceable. Um, it's everything right here. Uh, I think it's a great design. Some people think it think it's stupid, but what's nice is it encompasses everything. Your feed lips and everything like that. These wear. I mean, as you can tell. They've got wear. They wear. Um, they're ten bucks. They're ten bucks for the top pieces here. You can't beat that. You don't have to go out and buy a new mag or try to fight some, you know, fight somebody to get new tops. Ten bucks a piece. You can get them anywhere. Evike, uh, Airsoft GI. I, I, I'm, I think Tiger Tactical also sells them. I cannot be a hundred percent sure on that. Uh, but that is where I purchased this gun and all my extra mags uh, for three sixty. Uh, the mags. Are anywhere between uh, I think they're like between 45 and 55 dollars depending on where you get them um, they're really heavy really strong mag and like I said they've got huge huge gas wells in them 12 to 15 second charge time but it is so worth it um, I really hope this video has signed the deal for you to buy one of these because um, this gun is actually the gun that made me go 100% gas blowback. I no longer own any AEGs or even AEG parts for that matter. This gun converted me completely. Um, the fact that the colder weathers, you know, I can start playing mid spring, early spring, and go right in through fall and play with this gun in Maine. Um, and I live pretty far up north in Maine, so I see ice in the ocean. So I'm going to tell you, it gets cold here, and I can go out there, and I can still shoot, and I can still fire this gun. Um, I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you pick one of these up as soon as you can, especially pick it up at TigerTacticalAirsoft.com. Best customer service, great prices. He ships quick. You can't, you can't beat it. See you guys later.